This video is how to use the Tron network with Trust Wallet. If you're looking to use US dollar Tether on the Tron network, which is TRC20, I'll show you how to send and receive that from your Trust Wallet and then how to use the assets in your wallet for your benefit. For example, if you want to stake US dollar Tether to earn some extra yield, if you want to lend it or trade it, I'll show you how to do that in this video and timestamps for everything are down in the description. The first thing we have to do is add the assets that we want to use into our Trust Wallet. Now, if you don't have a Trust Wallet account set up yet, I'll leave that for a different video guide linked down in the description. It shows you how to set up the wallet step by step. And actually, it just comes through to this page. Now, from here, what we need to do is add the assets that we want to use. So in the top right hand corner, you can see the plus button. So click that. And then from here, it says all networks. So we can click that and we want to use Tron, right? So we're going to click that. And then from here, it shows you some of the most popular assets on the Tron network. Now, if you want to use the Tron network and you want to use US dollar Tether on Tron, which is the TRC20 version, then obviously put that on. But you also need to toggle on the TRX token as well. The reason being is that when you use a blockchain network, every transaction you make, you're going to have to pay a small fee for that. And Tron, the layer one token is TRX, and that's what we pay our gas fees in. So every time that you want to send USDT on the Tron network, we do need to spend also a little bit, a little bit of TRX token to send that transaction. So we're going to need both of those tokens to actually use US dollar tether on Tron. So I've toggled both of those on. I go back. You can now see down at the bottom here, I have both TRX and then USDT on the Tron network. You can see the logo in the bottom right and it says Tron next to USDT. Now we can send some tokens into our wallet from our exchange or anywhere else that we buy our tokens. Actually, if you go to TRX, you go to buy here. From here, you can actually use a third party to go and buy some TRX token if you want. You can see for me, it says Apple Pay uh, through Alchemy Pay. These are third parties. And so you may have to do KYC on these. These are basically like signing up for an exchange where you can sign up for the exchange and then they'll actually send that crypto into your wallet directly. You can do that. Uh, you can set that up. However, I do recommend actually having a real exchange, you know, like Binance, Bybit, OKX, someone like that, because the trading fees are much lower and they give you much better access. So what I'm going to do is actually send in some tokens from my Binance account. I'll leave some links to Binance and Bybit, OKX, and the exchanges I use down in the description. They also give deposit bonuses if you're new as well, depending on which country you're in. So you can check the details of those links below. For me though, I'm going to receive some TRX first because we need that to pay for gas. So receive, this is my TRX address. So this is the receiving address. So I'm gonna copy this and then I'm gonna go over to my exchange. And from here, you can see that I've got some TRX. So I'm gonna press this and I do have a balance here, so I'm actually gonna withdraw this from my exchange, withdraw, send via crypto network. Now, if you're not using Binance or the other exchanges, it's similar, press withdraw, withdraw via crypto network, and then just simply paste in your address, and it should automatically realize that you're sending TRX over the Tron network. You can see network down here, I'm gonna click that, and it says, this is the only network, right? It's highlighted here, the Tron network, which is TRC20. So I'm gonna click that, and then how much do you want to withdraw? I'm just gonna withdraw the amount that I bought. So I'm gonna press withdraw there. It's gonna ask me for my pass keys. Gives me the address that I'm sending to and everything. So that is my trust wallet address. So I'm just gonna go ahead with that transaction. Both of those assets have now hit my trust wallet account. So I have a balance of TRX and a balance of USDT. So now I'm gonna send some USDT out to another Tron account. So we're gonna click USDT, we're gonna click send. So you just need to get the wallet address of wherever you're sending it to. If it's another wallet or another exchange, we just need the address. So I'm gonna go back into my Binance, search for US dollar tether here, click this, go to deposit in the bottom right, and then it says, what network do you want to use it on? If you're using an exchange, you have to make sure you're sending and receiving on the Tron network because you've got assets on the Tron network and they can't be received on another network. So I'm gonna click Tron TRC20. I know that's the one I'm using, so Tron TRC20. This is my address right here. So I'm gonna copy that. Then what I can do is go back into my Trust Wallet account. I can paste that in, allow paste. And how much do you want to send? An amount right here, click done, click next. It's just going to say, are these the details that you want to send to? So you should see the wallet that you're sending from and to the amount 
and you should be able to see the uh, amount of the network fee as well that you'll actually be sending. So as long as that's okay, you can press confirm and that will just go through and send that transaction. Many people send USDT on the Tron network. It's extremely popular to send dollars around fairly cheaply. However, if we just have USDT in our wallet, it just sits there and doesn't do anything. Now what Tether are actually doing is taking dollars and investing them in short-term government debt like T-bills and other short-term debt and earning a yield on that, but they don't pass it back to us. Well, what Tron now do with a different token, which is STUSDT or staked USDT, is they actually take Tether and they invest it in the same US government debt and then they actually pass that yield back to us. So it's like owning essentially a money market fund or a basket of very short term government debt. And it's the yield that Tether get that they don't pass back to us. And so if you've just got Tether in your wallet, maybe you would want to go ahead and stake this because you're actually earning uh, yield from US government bonds. And so there are some extra risks here because it's a slightly more centralized and you're relying on this provider to, to actually give this to you, of course. Um, but they can do it. So I'll show you exactly how to go ahead and do this. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and press stake. And what we can do is stake our tether and it turns into STUSDT. So what it does is it takes the money that we have in tether and it invests it in the fund, the money market fund and the yield that the money market fund gets from the US treasuries and T-bills. It just simply passes it back to us. And of course they take a small fee for that as well. So we're going to connect wallet. We're going to press wallet connect here and then from here uh, i'm just going to connect my wallet so on trust wallet if you go to the uh, right here it should be the scan icon right so you can just press scan right here and that's going to open up your camera in the top right and then from here i'm just going to scan the wallet connect and so i should be connected to this site now so if i go back to my trust wallet do you want to connect to this site i'm going to press connect and then on the STUSDT site in the top right hand corner, you can now see that my uh, wallet is connected. From here, we can choose how much staked USDT that we actually want to get. And we just swap an amount of Tether into staked Tether. So this one, $20, it's gonna go right into 20 STUSDT. Now, this is a rebasable token which means that the yield that we're getting each day is actually paid to us in the form of more tokens. So over time, that 20 should turn into 21, 22, 23 tokens, even though the price of staked Tether should be one for one with Tether, we're actually getting more of those tokens to represent our, our yield, which is known as rebasing. You can see fees right here, it's free to stake. However, unstaking is 0.1%. This may go up in the future as well. So we need to know that the uh, amount of time that we're staking for, we uh, are gonna earn enough yield to pay for any of the fees on the way out. Claimable in T0 to T3, this means the amount of time it takes to claim and unstake. So it could be the same day, it could take up to three days to actually unstake from the protocol. And then from there, you can claim it back into your wallet and it swaps it back into USDT for you. This is the yield over time. Um, it's gonna track the treasury yield more or less this may be lagging data right here the last few days, and I recommend reading the FAQs. So from here, we have an amount of Tether. We wanna swap it into staked USDT. So I'm gonna press stake. Now from here, it may say, if you've not used the protocol before, it may say you need to approve uh, STUSDT and USDT to actually go ahead with the transaction. If it says that, just click approve right here and you'll have to approve that with your wallet. If you're using a uh, trust wallet, go back to your phone because it is connected. It should say confirm and approve. You can just approve that right here. But I'm just going to confirm this right here. And then in my wallet, I'll show you what that looks like. This is what the transactions look like. So you can see your wallet and everything here and all of the data. So approve if you've not used it before. And then from here, confirm. So I'm going to press confirm. And that goes back here and it says transaction sent. That transaction has been sent, so I've actually received uh, STUSDT into my wallet. So I'm gonna press OK for now. You may notice that you can't see that token in your wallet even though your tether balance just reduced. That means the transaction went through, but we need to add the token manually. You can see I've done it uh, myself down here in the bottom. So we're gonna add the token ourselves. In the top right, click the plus button. Click the plus button again in the top right. We're gonna import a crypto. Tron, TRC20. Get the contract address. It's on CoinGecko, 
So go to search and search for staked USDT. Contract is down here. So we're gonna copy that, that's the Tron contract. Go over to our trust wallet, click paste. Down here for name, you can name it staked USDT. The symbol is STUSDT. You can actually put anything you want here, but just, you know, obviously for accuracy, decimals is 18 decimals. You've added that, and now down at the bottom, you can see it's on the Tron network, STUSDT. We have a balance right here of the amount that we staked. You can also unstake and claim any staked USDT that you have as well. So go back to the site. I'll leave all of these sites down in the description as well so you know you're going to the right places. And from here, we can press unstake and it shows my balance. So I can press unstake here and it's gonna come into US dollar tether, the you know normal one. And of course we have to pay that unstaking fee, but you can press unstake here. It goes through with a transaction and that may take zero to three days. Once you've unstaked it and that's actually occurred, then what you have to do is claim it. So go over to claim and you should have after a couple of days, the amount of tether back unstaked. So claim it and that claims it back from the protocol and puts it back in your wallet. We can also use a DEX on the Tron network to swap any one token for another. So I'm using the Sun DEX here. There are others. I'll link all of the details below. But from here, I've connected my wallet and I'm gonna swap the staked USDT that I got uh, back into normal tether. So we're not unstaking or claiming or anything. What we're actually doing is just swapping the two tokens. So it's read my balance here and you can see I'm gonna to have to pay a transaction fee and a gas fee, but that's fine. I'll just do that um, for this example. So swap, approve the USDT. You can see that in my wallet, approve this. So we'll just have to go through and approve. And then it should let me swap that staked USDT back for Tether as well. So confirming, confirm swap back into my trust wallet. You can see that here, it's confirmed that as well. So if I press confirm and pay that transaction fee. So that should swap the staked Tether back into my normal Tether. Uh, that's just happened. So if we go back into my wallet, that should actually have shown up already as well. Um, once we refresh, you should see the staked Tether eventually go back into USDT. There's also a lending protocol on the Tron network, which is very similar to Compound or Aave if you're from the Ethereum ecosystem. This is over collateralized borrowing and lending. So what we can do is lend tokens to borrowers, they pay us an interest, they collateralize the loan with more value in a different token. So the loans are over collateralized, meaning there is a much lower risk of something going wrong. Even if the loan from their side gets liquidated, it doesn't matter too much because they have other assets that are valued more that can be liquidated to pay back the loans. Now there are of course risks that that mechanism doesn't work uh, in time, you know, during market crashes and things. But in general, it's a very popular way to you know, borrow and lend. And as I said, very similar to the Ethereum dApps like uh, Compound and Aave. So I've connected my wallet. You can see my balances here. You can supply any assets that you have. This is the supply APY right here. So 2.98% uh, for USDT, 91 basis points for Tron and the others right here. So if you wanted to supply, you would just go to the asset that you have. You can see it's reading my balance, press supply. How much do you want to actually supply? This is a variable APY. So this varies with supply and demand, but you can supply some of your tokens here into the protocol. And if they're in there, they're getting this annual yield on an annualized basis, but this changes over time. You'll see your dashboard here. So you can do that very easily, earn some extra yield on the tokens that you may have in your wallet. Tron does have a reputation as a very cheap network, but if you're using DeFi on Tron, it's not the cheapest by a long stretch. There are many other cheaper networks like Base and some of the other Ethereum layer twos. I'll leave tutorial videos for those down in the description, plus the exchange bonus links as well. If you're looking to get more pro in DeFi, the crypto course is linked down there as well with 300 videos on uh, using wallets and DeFi and getting set up properly. I'm James, it's my ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.